Switching gears a bit with the new year upon us, there's a group of concerned citizens right here in our community that are working together in efforts to help change the financial future of Jefferson County, which by the way is one of the is the largest municipality county in our state. The group is called Jeffco Can. Slade Blackwell is here this morning to tell us more about how they are working to make the county a better place for all. I have to say thank you. Thank you for coming <laughs> the Christmas you. after. This is sure. really important and it seems right. like, you know, I got to meet you a, a, a month or so back. You are energizing a lot of people in and out of the business community, just all about bringing the best out of the county. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we started about uh, three, four months ago and realized that our county could go into bankruptcy and that uh, it's having a devastating effect on our city and state. And uh, if it went into bankruptcy, our sewer rates could increase. Uh, they could have um, non-user fees come into play. And we're all about no new taxes. And so we started a group called Jeff Cocan to provide a solution to help solve the Jefferson County sewer crisis. You know, one thing that I found very interesting about you, and I hope you don't mind that I'm getting a little personal <laughs> with you, sure. is that when I first met you as a journalist, I'm like, okay, what's your background here? Right. What, what's going on? Who, who's who's <laughs> funding you? And right. I just found out that you're just a dad right. who has a beautiful wife and kids, and you're finding this really out of your own pocket right. because you're just like you told me, a citizen that grew up here, you know, you, you, you invested your time here, and you want to see this county better for your grandkids and all children. And yeah. I thought that really struck you, my heart. You hit right on it, and really it's about our children. I don't want my children, we don't want our children paying this debt, and if it doesn't get resolved, we're going to put more debt on our children. And so what we put forth is a three-step plan to help solve it and bring in our real mission is to bring our county commission and our local delegation together to help find a solution. Let's talk about that three-step plan. I know it's it's you've kind of outlined it here on this chart real quick. Take right. me through it. Yeah, three steps. One, I'm going to start at the bottom, is to negotiate the debt with the creditors, and we've got to do that. Second is create an independent sewer board, and that's important where you take the, the out of the hands of the commission and form an independent board and let those guys run it. And then mm -hmm. third, we've got to uh, uh, use some excess proceeds to use as revenue to help pay for the debt. I did some research and you tapped into the business community because apparently you've heard with all the media, uh, negative media about right. things that are going on in the county, it's it's really hurting businesses. But with that being said, um, you know, I, I want to give you an opportunity to just kind of to talk to the, the, you know, talk to the mom right. and dad or, you know, Mrs. O'Neill out there in Aniana right. that w say, why should <laughs> I be concerned, you know, uh, about Jefferson County here in Alabama? It affects all of us. Where's the camera? It affects all <laughs> of us and uh, it's having a devastating effect on the county and city right now and mainly because of jobs mm. economic development right now Neil Wade our state uh, development officer can't even get people to look at Jefferson County can't even get look, people look at the state mm. and if we want to continue to thrive and help our schools we need to get this resolved well, we definitely know how we have big hearts and folks that love their sweet home Alabama <laughs> so um, again you know we have linked um, Slade uh, Jeffco can website because you are doing a series of community meetings you're reading right. you're going out you and your group are talking to people because you want them to get a better look at what you're about right absolutely and what we need is the community Community's help, and we're going out and meeting with um, local local chamber of commerce. We're meeting with uh, neighborhood associations and giving presentations and say, "Hey, we need the support of the citizens to call your uh, local delegation, to call your commissioners, and say, get off your butt. We need a solution. A new year, <laughs> a new move, huh? Absolutely." All right. Well, it's laid back where you can get all the information about Jeff Cocan on our website, NBC13.com. Just type in the keyword. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy New Year. Appreciate it. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.